What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Dustin and last time we were here what we did is we made a an extremely long video that I apologize for. Did not realize how long it was until I uh, started editing it and saw that it was like a solid like half an hour long. Um, but anyways what we did is we gave our player the ability to actually um, like hurt our player or excuse me, hurt our skeleton here. Um, we gave him this little flash effect, and we also added a, uh, set up a simple health system for him, so that when his health drops to zero, he dies. Um, so yeah, this time what I want to do is, first I'm going to try and keep this video relatively short. Um, but what I want to do is I want to, um, give our skeleton just a simple little knockback effect so that when we are attacking our skeleton um every time we hit him he's not consistently trying to move towards us while we're attacking he's gonna basically get knocked back just a little bit um so what we're gonna do is we are going to go on to our skeleton script and we're going to go down below all of our other functions, just below our go home function. And we're going to use uh, on trigger enter 2D. So we're going to say void on trigger enter 2D. Um, I'm going to change collision to other. And then we're just going to say if other dot tag is equal to uh, not player because we don't want him to get knocked back whenever he touches our player. We want him to get knocked back anytime he hits this uh, hitbox here. So we are going to um, let's go ahead and create a new tag here. So we're gonna go add tag, hit the little plus button. And we're going to call this tag, uh, my weapon. And then on all four of our hitboxes here, I'm just going to select our hitbox, hold down control, and select all of the other hitboxes. And we're going to assign the my weapon tag to all four of those. Um, just going to minimize all of these. And let's go back into Visual Studio, and we're just going to say my weapon. So, now what we want to do is we want to work out the difference between our uh, player's transform, well, basically the transform of our weapon, and our enemy, which is what this script is attached to. So, we're going to say... We're going to create a vector2, and we're going to call it difference, and that difference is going to be equal to um, our transform dot position uh, minus other transform dot position. And then what we can do now is we can say that our transform.position is equal to a new vector2. And that new vector2 is going to be our transform.position.x plus our difference. And our transform dot position dot y plus our difference. Just like that. And this does not want to do this like this. It's got this red line all the way across. And why does it do that? Because we need to tell it the x axis here on the difference and the y axis on the difference here. Uh, just like that, yeah. 
So perfect, so let's go ahead and save that. And go back into Unity. And let's see how this works. Let's hit play. And go and attack our enemy. Actually, I'm going to, before we do that, I'm going to set our skeleton's health to a bunch. Just so we can kind of test it out and not kill him right away. So now let's go and attack our enemy. And look at that. he kind of gets knocked back just a little bit. So yeah, that that works great. I like it. So I think that, yeah, that's that's all we really need to do. So um, if you're enjoying the series, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification icon so you know whenever I post a new video, you can kind of follow along with the series. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you think of this series. Uh, let me know if there's anything you would like to see in this series for me to add into. Let me know if there's a better way to do something, anything that I'm doing in this series. Um, I will try and implement that as best as I can. Um, if I can't implement it into this series because it's long past or whatever, I will try and add it into a future series or a future video. Um, but until then, I will see you next time.